So today I'd like to show you my uh, recent project that I did for my Udacity front end web development course. And this is a memory game. The purpose of this memory game is to match two cards together until you have eight total matches. So 16 cards match all together. And once you have successfully played the game, you get an alert model saying, congrats, you won the game. You did it in this many seconds this many moves and you got a score of one to three stars so here there's two I just quickly tried to match two cards together they don't work so they close again and I'll just quickly speed up this process right here all right and now I did it in 157 seconds. I also got a total of 23 moves and I got a score of one. Regardless, well done. And there you go, I can restart the game. Now I'm gonna show you the code. So I have the HTML, which was mainly given to me from Udacity. I added, this is the model, model container for the model alert. Then I was also given a score panel I have three stars for the rating. I have the number of total number of moves and the, t the total timer. And then all the magic happens in here. This is the deck and I, for every single card, uh, I will be implementing or appending them in the JavaScript right here. So if you look in the JavaScript right now, this is the variable, the ar array variable of objects with all the different types of shapes. Here I have some jQuery selectors that I just shortened up so I don't have to write all this all over again. And then I have some other variables that I've added to. Here is the shuffle function. This allows anything to be shuffled. This was also already given to me. And here I initialize the game. I uh, make a new variable called all cards. This shuffles the function shuffles the objects array, which is the variable of objects array. And the game will start with no cards facing up. It will also have no, no matches, no moves, no timer. And then I make a for loop right here, which will Creates, uh, it will add a li tag with the class card and a i tag with the class fa fa the string of the card so if you build a bicycle or a leaf or a cube and this will only happen twice a piece this enables the timer to be to reset to zero when the game is restarted here is the rating function so it will start at a score of three and it will uh, decrease depending how many moves you do according to these numbers and the max the lowest score you can get is a one but I'll still say well done so yeah all right um, this function adds a bootstrap model alert window showing time moves and score it took to finish the game it will only toggle if all pairs are matched so if all cards are showing, facing up in this function, by clicking on the button located at the top right of the game, it will enable all cards to reset, so they will all go face down again, and the cards will be shuffled again. This function, this function here, add card listener, allows each item that is clicked on that is matched will stay open. If the cards do not match, both cards will be flipped back over. And then if we jump right here, this compares the card that is matched. So if they are matched, it will add both classes open and show. And here it will find the class of open and will class of match. If it finds open and the cards do not match, it adds a class of not match. And then in it, it'll take 600 and 
30 milliseconds time for you uh, f for the class if it finds open it will remove the class open show which will basically make the cards turn back over the all open equals array specifies all added cards facing up the moves that increment by one only when two cards are matched together or not matched so the number of moves is added to the rating function that will determine the star score depending on the amount of moves as we talked beforehand with this if statement the game is finished once all cards are matched with a short delay so in this function right here initiates the timer as soon as game is loaded or restarted this resets the timer when the game ends or is restarted 